Hello everyone. So we discussed step two in the previous week, and now we are going to discuss step three. So we started discussing the steps of exercise two, and in exercise two, we are trying to observe the body and the interaction between me and the body. So the consciousness is observing the material in exercise two. In exercise one, the consciousness was observing the consciousness. So. while discussing the steps in step 1 we said that there are two distinct realities which i have to come to know through my direct observation so we studied that there is self there is body self is a conscious entity body is a material entity and now we are trying to understand this through our direct observation so in step 1 we try to see the two realities the self and the body distinctly in step 2 we try to observe the interaction between the self and the body and we found that the self gives instructions to the body and the self receives sensations from the body and there is no exchange of material here there is only exchange of information here so having done this we go to step 3 now so we'll discuss step 3 now now we have studied about the self and the body and we could see that the needs of the self are different from the needs of the body the activities of the self are different from activities of the body the response is also different and we said that the self is a conscious entity and the body is a material entity now essentially what we are trying to do in exercise 2 is that we are trying to observe these realities through our direct observation so it might be the case that we have got this information and we are analyzing this information but it becomes a part of my understanding when i am able to directly observe this isn't it so the two realities the self and the body have to be studied in the previous session we tried to study the information exchange between the self and the body and we said that the consciousness is giving instruction to the body and receiving sensation from the body and there is no material transaction taking place here now we go further and these are the seven steps to be accomplished in exercise 2 so now in step 3 we are trying to observe the decision maker so we are trying to see who is deciding to give instructions to the body or to read specific sensations from the body is it the self or the body so having been able to observe that i am giving instruction to the body and receiving the sensation from the body i need to make out who is deciding this is it happening by itself that i keep on giving instructions or i decide is it so that i keep on receiving sensations or here again i decide what do you think and whether i decide or the body decides now we have an idea that the body is a material entity so it cannot decide but have we been able to observe this through our direct observation so when you observe you can see that it is i that is the self that decides to give instruction to the body and the self decides to read specific sensations from the body you will see that there are so many thoughts going on inside you we are analyzing something or the other every time isn't it we are comparing between various options you are also testing something or the other you keep on imaging within you but not every time you are giving the instruction to the body to express or to act accordingly so maybe that you remember a friend of yours and you do not have a very good taste of the interaction that took place between you and your friend few days earlier and you are feeling somewhat unhappy about it analyzing what to do what not to do right and the body just at rest do not instruct the body now when you get fed up of this you may decide to turn the tv on and watch some movie now here you have given some instruction to the body right so it's not that whatever is going on inside you is getting instructed to the body similarly let's say you are sitting in some place and a friend of yours is coming to you now you are noting that friend who is coming to see you isn't it and if you look at whatever is there in front of you there are so many things in front of you but you are noticing the friend because you consider your friend important and you are not considering other things as important so here again you see that there is a decision that you are making while receiving the sensation from the body in the retina of your eye so many images are being formed but you are noticing the friend who is coming to you you may not notice so many people who pass by so what is happening here again you are receiving the sensation from the body and you are making a decision here 
Now try to observe this in all your activities throughout the day. Whenever you send some instruction to the body, is some decision making involved or not? Or is it happening by itself? Whenever you are listening to some sound or whenever you are seeing something, whenever you are getting some other kind of sensation from the body, is there some decision making involved or is it happening by itself? And if involved, then who is the decision maker? The self or the body? So if you observe it closely, every time you see that you are taking a decision. So the decisions regarding the exchange of information between me and the body are entirely mine. I'm the decision maker. Now, something similar we had tried to observe in exercise one also, that who is deciding the feeling, isn't it? And we found that it is me who decide the feeling. Similarly, in my interaction with the body, I can again see that it is me who decides to interact with the body. So there's some decision making again involved here. So I interact with the body as and when I consider it important. I interact with the body from time to time and not continuously. Two things. So I interact with the body depending upon whether I consider it important or not. And similarly, I do not interact every moment. I interact from time to time as per the need. Now, the activities in the self are going on continuously. The activities in me are going on continuously, but I'm not interacting with the body continuously. Sensations are also taking place in the body, right? But I'm not receiving the sensation every moment. I'm deciding when to read the sensation and when not to read, isn't it? So the body acts according to the instruction that I give to it. And I use the body as per my decision, use the body as an instrument. Now here again, the difference between self and the body will become more clear. So we had said that self is central to human existence and the body is an instrument. Now this gets further reinforced when you are able to observe that you are deciding every time to send instruction to the body or to receive sensation from the body. And you are the decision maker and your decisions are entirely yours, right? And that's how you are central to your existence. The self is central to the human existence. So think over it, observe it. So you'll see that I decide what to do and what not to do. At the level of the self, I decide my desire, that is feeling, thought and expectation. This is something that we had explored in the previous exercise. At the level of the body, where my involvement is required, I give instruction to the body in accordance with the work that I want to take from the body and the body acts accordingly. I operate the body as per my decision, I use the body like an instrument. Now, if you are able to observe this very closely, it will become very clear that you are not the body. The body is outside you. The body is a physiochemical entity different from you. You are utilizing the body as an instrument, isn't it? And you use the taste from the sensation to decide what is to be done with the body, with the outside world. So let's say you are sitting in your room and it is summer time, right? Then a sensation reaches you, the body is sweating. And then you decide that you have to turn the fan on. But let's say you have fever and the body is sweating and you may decide not to turn the fan on. So the sensation is reaching you, you are testing the sensation, but you are deciding what is to be done with the body or not and how to interact with the outside world, whether to take the body to the switch, turn it on, or to keep sitting in your place. And you can see that something similar is happening in all your activities that you are doing with the body. So it is expected that after having discussed this, you are going to observe this throughout the day. Try to observe this. So having observed this, we'll talk about the observer, the doer and the enjoyer. Observer is also called as seer, right? Enjoyer we can also call as experiencer. So having been able to see that I am the one who decides. So we can understand that I see, I observe as and when required, I use the body to see, right? And then I use the sense organs. There are five sense organs. I utilize the sense organs to receive the sensation from the body and thus I see. So I am the one who decides to see. In that sense, I am the observer, not the body. The body is not observing. The eyes are not observing. The eyes are a part of the body and I'm utilizing the eyes as my instrument.
So I use the body as an instrument. Similarly, I decide to do as and when required from time to time. I give instructions to the body. In that sense, I am the doer. So every time when you are instructing the body, you are the doer. You are the decision maker. Doer essentially means that you are the decision maker to do or not to do, isn't it? And the body acts accordingly. And I am the one who experiences happiness or unhappiness. I am the enjoyer, not the body. So the body merely has sensation. The sensation reaches me, and I taste it, and I call it pleasant or unpleasant. So let's say you are fond of some music, and you listen to that music, and you feel it very pleasant. But if you remember some incident that took place, which is concerned with that music, and you felt unhappy on some previous occasion, let's say a friend of yours was also fond of that music, and he is no more. So earlier you were able to enjoy that music, but now when you listen to the same music, you feel unhappy about it. So the sensation is reaching you, but now you are tasting it in a different manner. So essentially, what is happening in the body is similar to what was happening earlier. The music is reaching the ears. From the ears, it is coming to you. The same kind of physiochemical change is taking place in the body, but now you are not able to enjoy it. You are not able to feel happy about it. So essentially, it is not the body that is the experiencer; it is you who is the experiencer. So I am the one who observes, who sees. I am the one who decides to do or not to do. So I am the doer, and I am the enjoyer or the experiencer. Now we have studied about this, and now what we are trying to do through this exercise, we are trying to see directly. So observe this also. So there is an assignment in step three: observe the interaction between self and the body every time. Who is deciding to give instruction to the body and to read specific sensations from the body? Is it the self or the body? So we talked about it. We discussed it, and it is expected that now we are going to do this on your own. We are going to observe this, and you can note down your observations in a journal several times in the course of the day, say at least every four hours. So for this whole week, you can practice step one, two, and three, and the next week we we'll practice step four. So in today's session, we observe the decision maker and found that it is the self who decides every time. The self is the seer, the self is the doer, and the self is the enjoyer. The body is merely an instrument. Now we have to come to see this through our direct observation. So practice this for the whole week, and we'll discuss step four in the next session. Thank you.